Welcome, my friend. This is day 41 of our 40 plus this bonus daily places of pause. Uh, today's is going to be a skosh longer than 10 minutes. So settle in for about 20 25 minutes. And this day is all about pulling together everything that we have been exploring thus far. And again, whether you've been here every single day or this is your first, you're in just the right spot, just the right time. And uh, you can always go back and listen to some of the other uh, pops to fill up and fuel for your life and your unique purpose on the planet and to be connected with others as you go. So, in a minute, this is all about taking flight, claiming and leaping together. But before we get to that, we are going to start as we do with a moment to be still, with a moment to practice together, finding that place of peace, of calm, of being well in the deepest part of ourselves no matter what storms, what noise, what chaos, what excitement, what is going on around us. And practicing coming back here, taking a breath, asking the sacred, reaching out to someone you trust for what you need, never going it alone, moving with plentiful peace through life, always together. Keep taking those breaths. Keep taking in the sounds around you, arriving, being here. And take a moment to think about someone near to you that you just want to companion in a virtual, sort of deeply connected, but maybe not with them in the moment way. Send them a blessing, a hope, a wish, a prayer for what you know, what you see that they most need today. It's this cool way we can just be with each other, even while we cannot be with very many people in this season. Then, kind of taking the, uh, zooming out the camera a little bit, think about someone that you've seen a story on the news about, read a story about on social media that is in need that is struggling, that is distant, in a distant land, um, outside of the state where you live, the country where you live, the continent where you live, and just imagining reaching your arms, your arms of love, your big heart, sharing a little love, sharing a blessing, a prayer with them. And may we keep doing this, this rubber band of being still in our own hearts, reaching out to those near, dear, treasured, beloved to us, and to those in our mighty human family of sisters and brothers, to champion, to companion, to be with each other in life, today, tomorrow, and on and on and on. So let's dive in, I'm so excited. Woo! So today, our bonus pop, technically day 41 is all about taking flight, claiming and leaping. I'm gonna try not to fall in the lake behind me. That would make for some interesting, <laughs> interesting claiming and leaping. Um, so keep breathing, keep being present, keep looking for the ways that this fuels your story, your unique, powerful purpose on the planet. Taking flight. It is time to leap, soar, and light up the world. You were made for this. This is your, this is our purpose on the planet. Hold your head high, eyes bright, direct, and fierce. Grab a hand, I'll take yours. And leap boldly and courageously. Leap and fly, live ablaze, and let's light up the world together. Claim and leap. Imagine that this adventure has brought you to the edge of a cliff. 
The vista from this vantage point is spectacular, unlike anything you've seen before. As you stand at the edge, with the parachute strapped on your back, you know it. It's time to leap. Your heart may be pounding, your breath may be short. You long for the leap, to feel the wind on your skin as you fly free and unfettered. But it's not easy. You have never leapt from this height before. You know that you must jump for that chute to open. The terror and the thrill make for a racing heart. Thrum, thrum. Amidst the tumult of your racing heart and the whipping of the wind, something catches your eye. As you look to the left and to the right, you see it. It is not something, but someone. A lot of someones, in fact. The cliff edge is lined with others, and more are coming. They have been journeying and exploring, taking small and big steps, leading them to this cliff's edge, just like you. With you. So, our 41st bonus pop. This bonus place of pause will set the stage for you to see, really see the stunning panorama of your journey of your life. May it quiet your heart and your mind to see and listen in that soulful way to the beauty and the courage that is in you now. First, be still surrender. Wowza, right? Jumping from a cliff with a parachute strapped on your back. These are audacious and exhilarating imaginings, eh? We'll return to them in a bit, but for now, my friend, take a breath. Take this time for silence and stillness. Let go of the possibilities and conundrums the things known or unknown, excitement or fear, and be here, breathing, being, and return here. Second ponder, go deeper. The last six days, we've been exploring this notion of shared and collective vocations. They were warrior, peacemaker, philanthropist, bridge builder, hairdresser, that hairdresser tool of yours, and explorer. If you missed them, check them out on the replays. No worries. Which ones beckon you to claim them as if they were written on a business card? Imagine making the vocation that most captures your attention your own. Add the ones that call to you that aren't listed and let me know what it is I'd love to hear. Dream big here without shoulds, free from fear. Again, warrior, peacemaker, philanthropist, bridge builder, your hairdresser tool, and explorer. Embedded in these vocations, even if it's a little bit of each one of those, is your calling, who you are, what you do, why you're here, what will bring a spring in your step, feel good difference making, right here, in lockdown, in quarantine, wherever you are in your life. There is a gift for you here. You are a gift. Holy, the geese are just with us. <laughs> Thirdly, engage, commit, a nudge. Pick one of these vocational choices. Warrior, peacemaker, philanthropist, bridge builder, your hairdresser tool or explorer. Or if you're like me, a little bit of each and write a job description of how you do this work. Give this way of life some empowering, juicy details. Imagine it. Write what you know and what you dream of. 
and let go of what you don't know. Do one thing today connected to this inspiring job description. That was so cool. Celebration. Share something from this place of pause, this bonus pop with someone you trust. Stick with me. There's more. Now, oh my gosh, I love those geese. I was hoping they would show up. Here they are. Panoramic view. We've done it. Completed our final pop place of pause. There have been 40 plus a bonus experience for your unfolding story to deepen, emerge, and grow. You've had the opportunity to kindle the fire of your dreams, hopes, and purpose on the planet. As we near the end of this journey, amidst the energy or needs, wherever you find yourself of this moment, I invite you to take another moment. Continue, consider, ponder. What have been your favorite elements of these pops? Do you wanna continue to practice your places of pause in your daily life? Is it something you plan to do at the same time each day and or on the fly in response to the stressors and challenges that arise in day-to-day life? Because there are many right now, I get it. A daily rhythm of pops will nurture a life that is solid and whole, lit up with a glow that is unique to you. As your pop practice grows, expands, morphs, and it always does, you'll find yourself using these pops when life throws you a curveball, which all of us experience at one time or another, probably all of us right now. Look for ways to take the triggers that come your way during the day. Worry, fear, opportunity, decisions to make, relationships to negotiate, homeschooling, working from home, people you love who are in pain and in need of support and take these into a spur of the moment pop right now as you envision your own persistent pops write about imagine go for a walk about how and when you will continue this practice including those juicy details to direct and inspire you to make them your own A nudge, you probably know what I'm going to say. Share something about how you want to take this pop practice. Morph it, make it your own with someone you trust. Ask them to remind you. Not the end. As we approach the very end of this leg of our journey together, this is not the end. You know, it's the end of the book, but not the journey. We have so much more left to do together. This is good news. So keep that seatbelt fastened, my friend. You're gonna need it. Here and now, I invite you to partake in one last imagining that has its roots in each day of this journey, this dream of living ablaze, of living soulfully ablaze, is becoming more real by the moment. It is real time. It is here and now. You might want to close your eyes, settle in, and imagine. You sit listening to the sea of humanity, to your sisters and brothers near and far. You hear lilting voices, languages you don't understand. You see lands that are unfamiliar people with whom you lock eyes. When they see you, they smile, greet you, and offer tea or chai. Their eyes twinkle, sparkle, and beckon you to come closer, to bring others with you, to not look away, 
They invite you to come and sit, to rest, to feast with them. You say yes. You let yourself go and enjoy the feast. You can't not. It's too good. In their company, you feel less fear and loneliness, plentiful peace, flourishing freedom, Herculean hope, and limitless love are here, right here, right now, in you and in those around you. You hear a song, a mighty and unstoppable melody of voices is coming together. In the din you hear it, the free, beautiful shouting of your own voice, your voice. And among these many, you feel it. You belong. You have become a vital part of a mighty community of many others who wade into the deep and dark places of the world, carrying the torch of hope as you go. Together, you are peacemakers, not fettered by fear of difference, the unknown or the unfamiliar. You keep it real. You speak about and listen to what really matters to one another. You live beloved and fervently vow to be love, to serve, to care for each other. You are humble warriors of love and justice who belong to one another. Right here, right now, as a tribe, you celebrate one another's unique and one-of-a-kind destinies that are unstoppably growing and flourishing with jaw-dropping beauty. Together, you live your big dreams, the ones you've dared to hope and claim as real and true. You pick up those tools that are yours to wield with innovative brilliance. You create things that make better, that make life better for those near and far. You are a tribe of makers who make a difference. You are a kula, community of the heart, of change makers. You bask in the thrill of the thrumming of your hearts on this adventure that continues on each and every day. This is a way of life that is yours till your last breath. This adventure has no end, and there is always more exploring to be done. This tribe won't wait to hoot and holler its cheers until things are all figured out, which is never. Collectively, you let go and you celebrate boldly, trusting that your next steps will appear at just the right time in ways that are more you than you could have thought or dreamed up or imagined. Together, you dare to rest, to pop, to play, to let go, to dance, to sing, to feast, to envision, to plan for and pour yourselves into work that you love, that sustains your lives and that enables you to provide for those you love. You are known as those who walk the planet with unrestrained generosity, a mighty community of extravagant philanthropists from kindergartners to the elders, from the richest to the poorest, from the haves to the have-nots. You see and you claim that this is your human birthright and you live it more fully every day. Your community's gratitude is inexhaustible. It's oceanic. You have plenty and you are plenty. You cherish the beauty, the hope, and the enoughness that is here right now. And I don't say this, I wrote this many years ago, and I don't say this lackadaisically. I know many feel that we don't have enough, but may you feel you have enough. May you reach out and ask for what you need so that you have what you need. You are buoyed, your loads are lightened. And about those loads, you carry those burdens together. You are burden bearers for one another in the dark and light moments of life. You live humbly 
and unrestrained in your interdependence as a tribe. You bask in a steady stream of conversation with each other as trusted soul friends. These conversations extend to include more and more of those in your human family and with the always with and for you spirit. Wow. <laughs> I need to blow my nose, but I didn't bring a tissue. I should learn. It's time to take a breath. One last moment to be still together. What's coming next is so important, dear one. Listen, do you hear it? The tribe of your human family has gathered and is cheering you on, celebrating you, cheering for you, seeing your freedom, courage, compassion, and your fierce and unstoppable commitment to be love. I am in this crowd shouting rowdy hurrahs for you. We wildly whoop your name. We rise to our feet and stomp a boisterous standing ovation for you. We revel in who you are and who you have become and in who you are yet to be. We are ecstatic and ready to keep leaping and to light up the world with you. The cause of our thunderous praise is crystal clear. You rock and you are ablaze. So, my wondrous and extraordinary friend, buckle your seatbelts. Holy guacamole. Thank you for this journey. This has been amazing. I welcome anything that comes your way of needs that you still feel that you have, ways I can support, companion, pray for you. Um, what is percolating in your ablaze-ness? So my friend, as you go today, may you live beloved. May you live belonging the core of yourself that no one can take away. May you claim and may you stomp that we belong to each other. May you stand tall. May you take flight. May you claim and leap off that cliff with many others parachuting with you into the next season of life, into this day. And as you do, may you, may we light up the world together. I'm going to sing the first part of one of my favorite songs and try to light a candle. It's a little breezy here at my park, my lake. This is my closing song benediction for us. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. But it gets better. This little light of ours, we're gonna let it shine. This little light of ours, we're gonna let it shine. This little light of ours, this humongous blazing light of ours we're gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine oh i love you blessings peace catch you later